how can you be a biologist and not stay on the side of blood? <laughs> you just pick labs based on the organisms that they work on that don't bleed. <laughs> So the HIV animations will show the entire life cycle of HIV. So it has a membrane envelope around it, and inside is a conical capsid, inside which there is RNA and RNA binding protein. And that is really kind of the viral load that it's trying to get into the cell. And then it shows the virus to scale with its target cell. The virus contacts proteins on the cell membrane And then the viral proteins undergo these conformational changes that basically allow the membrane of the virus and the membrane of the cell to fuse. That allows a capsid to get into the cell, infect the cell, and get integrated into the cellular genome. What's your goal in doing these animations? The hope with the animations in general is that it should be able to feed back into research. If we are able to create better models, maybe that will allow us to design better drugs. The hope is that it can build to something like a cure. <laughs>